What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to change eye colour in Photoshop. Now just before I get into this video, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. So as you can see, I have Photoshop opened and on the screen, as you can see, we have a picture of eyes, an image I got from Google. Now the first thing we're going to do is hold Alt on our keyboard and use the mouse wheel to scroll into one of the eyes. Now from there, come up here and you'll see a lasso tool. Just left click and drag and select the lasso tool right here. And from here, we're just going to left click and we're just going to literally cut around the eye like so. And you have to take your time with this. I'm just trying to rush it a bit for the purpose of the tutorial so it stays nice and short. And make sure you come back and connect it up like that. And now come across to the other eye, unless you're doing a cyclops of course. From there, hold shift. And now you need to continue holding shift and draw around this eye. It's important you hold shift and you'll see why in a minute. Again, make sure you take your time. I'm just rushing this with the purpose of the tutorial. There we go. Now, if I hold alt and use my mouse wheel to zoom out, we now have both selections. This is why we needed to hold shift and cut around this next eye. Now from here, come to the top and select image, select adjustments and select color balance. From here, you're able to change the colour of the eyes. Very simply, uh, just like this, just messing with the sliders and you can pick whatever colour you would like. Let's go Red Demon, as you can see, just like that. And once you're happy with the colour, just select OK. Right click, deselect, and they're done. The next thing we're going to do is head over to the side up here and you want to get the Dodge tool. Now just zoom into the eyes again and make sure it's on 100% exposure, range is on mid tones, and of course, it's on a smaller size, maybe 20, completely up to you. Now just go around the pupil like so, like that, and do the exact same to the other eye. There we go, and it's just brightened up the eye to make it a bit more realistic. Now the next way I'm gonna be showing you how to do this, it's gonna be a bit more neater. So we're gonna zoom into the eye again to start off with, and from here, come over to the side and make sure you select the pen tool. For those that are new, this is a very useful feature. Let's go. So we left click, and as you can see, it creates a dot. And we're gonna create these dots all around the eye, like so. And you just gotta keep going all the way around. Of course, you can be more accurate because it's just dots this time, it's not cutting out. Uh, again, I'm just rushing for the purpose of the tutorial. If you make a mistake, you can press Control, Alt, and Z on your keyboard, and it'll undo it. As you can see, we have selected that. Now we're gonna right click and select Maker Selection, and select OK. Now we're going to come across to the other eye and do the exact same thing. This time we don't need to hold shift, we just continue clicking and going around the eye like so. And connect them back up like that. And we're going to right click make selection, but instead of pressing OK, first of all we need to select add to selection, then select OK. Now as you'll see, both eyes are selected. And it's the exact same steps again, image, adjustments, colour balance, and mess with the eye colour to whatever you would like. Very, very simple, and it's very quick to do. Again, once you're happy, select OK. Come back to the lasso tool, just right click, deselect, and we're gonna again use the dodge tool, zoom into an eye, just go around the eye like so, and do the exact same to the other one, just to give it that shine. And if we zoom out, you're done. As you can see, it is a bit messed up because I did rush it, but when you do it, make sure you do take your time and you'll have a really nice effect. Anyway, that's it for this tutorial. I hope it has helped you. Like I mentioned at the start, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.